What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm doing something a little bit different because today I'm unboxing the PlayStation Classic. So like last week where I sort of strayed away from sneakers and unboxed the RTX 2080 HP Omen which I got on Black Friday, today I'm doing something a little bit more tech related than sneaker related, however in this case it kind of does go hand in hand with sneakers because we've also got that pair of Nike PG 2.5s in the PlayStation colorway that just dropped. So although I don't have that particular pair of sneakers, which I really wish I did because they're actually a really nice pair of kicks, I do actually have the item that inspired Inspired that pair of sneakers, the PlayStation Classic. So I'm sure by now you've heard about the PlayStation Classic, or if you haven't heard about the PlayStation Classic, you've probably heard about brands like Nintendo re-releasing retro consoles in a smaller footprint. This PlayStation Classic is pretty much the exact same thing, it's just like a smaller model of the PlayStation 1. Obviously it's too small to play discs, but it does have 20 classic games preloaded onto the console itself. I grew up in the PlayStation 1 era, all my friends had PlayStation 1s, I, I didn't have one, I just had a Game Boy because my parents wouldn't let me get one. But it's still a console that I'm very nostalgic about because of all the fun times I had on it. And interestingly enough, one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 1 is actually a later title called Star Wars Demolition. Unfortunately, I don't believe it's on this console, but that game was dope. So before we actually get into the unboxing of the console itself, why don't we take a look at this retro-inspired box, which I believe is very similar to the original PlayStation 1 box. So on the front of the box, you've got this beautiful photography of the PlayStation Classic in all its glory. It's also got the original PlayStation controller, no DualShock here, it's just... OG PlayStation without even analog sticks. You've got the PlayStation logo up in the right hand corner, you've got PlayStation Classic, PlayStation. Surprisingly it's rated M for Mature and I'm assuming that's because some of the games are M games. Uh, it actually looks like a lot of them are. <laughs> but the one thing that kind of took me by surprise when I pulled this out of my Amazon box is that it says on the top left hand corner, USB AC adapter not included. See back for details. So, does that mean I have to provide my own? I should probably see the back for details before I ask that question. No USB-AC adapter included, that kind of sucks, but at least I mean everyone's phone probably uses the right kind of adapter, so I'm not too worried about that. You've got two PlayStation Classic controllers, which I don't believe will work on PlayStation 1s. I'm pretty sure they use USB or USB-C or maybe even micro USB, I'm not sure. And then you've got a USB for the power supply and an HDMI to plug into your TV obviously. Then on the other side of the box you've got some nice PlayStation art which just kind of seems to sell the console, nothing really interesting there. And then moving to the back of the box we've got the 20 games that are preloaded. So it seems like we've got some pretty decent stuff. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not as excited about this lineup as I was for the NES Classic or even the Super NES Classic that dropped last year. But I mean you've got Grand Theft Auto, you've got Final Fantasy 7, you've got Rid Racer 4, you've got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal which I'm very excited about, Tekken 3, Siphon Filter, Rayman, Intelligent Cube, which I've never heard of. I probably should know what that is. I just don't. Um, I mean, some pretty decent stuff. But why don't I stop wasting your time and let's pop this guy open and see what we've got. Seriously, I'm super excited about this. I used to love playing PlayStation at my friend's house back in the day. It's not a very good drum roll. Still crap, but whatever. Moment of truth time. It's time to relive some of my favorite nostalgic moments. Here we go. <laughs> PlayStation Classic. Okay. So inside the box we've got, surprisingly, another box. Not that surprising, I kind of figured. You've got the PlayStation logo on the front. Let's see what we've got inside this box. Okay, another, another box, Jesus Christ. Oof, look at this. This guy is tiny. Okay, so first things first, we've got a PlayStation instruction manual, which shows you how to, uh, set the console up, which, I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory, especially if you've used a PlayStation before. The only difference is now you've got HDMI cables and USB and things like that, but pretty much should be the same thing. And I think even the open button and the power button do things. I think the open button actually takes you back to the main menu, if I remember correctly, and then the power button turns the game off. Reset button, maybe the reset button's the thing that takes you back to the main menu. I'm not sure, we're gonna have to try it. Here we go, oof, this guy is tiny. I like the buttons, they have a nice click to them. That's really nice. Oof, there it is. There it is. Okay, so the controller input is a USB, and I don't believe it works with any other USB controller. I believe it's only compatible with these PlayStation Classic controllers, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, I guess it makes sense. On the back of the console, you've got your HDMI port, you've also got your micro USB port, which is for charging. Is that just a... That's just an outline, that's not actually a real thing. You've got these nice traction pads on the bottom, so it doesn't slide around, but it still slides around. I mean, nothing else really seems to open or close on the console. That's it, yeah. That is just a straight piece of plastic, but it looks nice, so that's what's important. Okay, let me move this guy off to the side, and let's get to these controllers. I'm really excited about these, because these will be full size. Can I pull this? Oh, just pull that, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. HDMI cable. I don't know why I'm opening this, I don't need to open it just yet, but... 
doing it anyway. USB to USB micro cable. And then we've got the two PlayStation controllers, which instead of having your standard PlayStation input, they've got USB inputs. I mean, it is what it is. I, I wouldn't expect them to use actual PlayStation inputs. That'd be a little weird, but you know, it'd be kind of nice if I could use like a DualShock controller or a, you know, one with analog sticks. If I'm saying certain things about this wrong, it's just because I haven't used a PlayStation in years and I don't remember what is what. So forgive me if I screw up because it's probably going to happen. It probably already happened. Nice. This is like really sturdy too. I guess it would be because there's not too many moving parts. <laughs> oh man, that's nuts. How long are these cables too? Let's see. Not too long. Not as long as I would like because this is going to be sitting on my TV and my couch is like six to seven feet away from the TV. This is a... Uh, a tough one. Okay, well that is what it is. Why don't we compare this to the uh, Super NES, which I actually have next to me. So here it is, the Super NES Classic, right next to the PlayStation Classic. I wonder if the scale on these is the same. They're really close in size. They are really, really close in size. This guy's a little bit thicker. This guy's a little bit longer. I feel like the Super Nintendo is um, a little bit more durable. Like it feels like thicker plastic and there isn't as many moving parts. Like you've got these two buttons here, but that's, that's about it. And then the PlayStation, I mean, it still feels pretty durable. The matte finish is a little bit different, but I mean, it was on the original console, so that makes sense. The buttons do feel a little bit flimsy. I like the clicking action on them, but I don't know. Not bad though, not mad at it. They really went all out too. They modeled the hinge on the back of this guy and they modeled this little cover right here. That was completely unnecessary, but I appreciate it that they did it. That's pretty cool. Very cool, I guess now we have to uh, just plug it in and play it. So why don't we do that? So moment of truth time, guys. I've got it all set up. I grabbed the monitor from the other room, plugged in a few cables, plugged in some speakers down there, and I'm ready to take this nostalgia trip back to the past. So uh, why don't we power this guy on for the first time and see how it works? <sighs> kind of nervous. That's dope. <laughs> oh man, that's sick. Okay, here we go. See important health and safety warnings in the settings menu. Great, we won't be checking those. Let's see. Kind of nuts. Sony Entertainment Europe. Eight traveling fighters brought together by a common. So are they just starting me off with the game? Like, is this straight up? I'm just going into uh, Tekken. Okay, I love Tekken. Well, it wasn't Tekken. <laughs> Battle Arena Toshneden. I I have no clue what this is, but let's go for it. Yeah. Okay, we're going for foe. Great. That's a fitting name for a foe. Oh, man. Okay, that was my speakers and not the uh, console. What the hell was that? I didn't, I'm missing, I'm not doing much. I forgot how hard it was without the uh, joysticks. Can I jump or anything? Like what's, the, oh, I can. Oh, why wasn't I doing that before? I suck at this. Straight garbage. Come on, get him. Just spam it. Spam it till he dies. There we go. No problem. Oh, okay. I'm done with this game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna press the open button and switch to a different disc. Can't change discs in this game. You can only change discs when instructed to do so. While playing games that have multiple discs. Okay, uh, let's reset then. Oh, okay, Battle Arena. Cool Borders 2. No way. Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear, Mr. Driller, Oddworld, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, no way. Siphon Filter, I remember that game. Tekken 3, Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, that was a blast. I love that game. Let's do it up. It doesn't get old, man. It probably will after playing this for like two days, but you know, for right now it's dope. <laughs> I skipped all that stuff. I didn't need that. Sweet Tooth. Oh, roadkill. Begin battle. Here we go. Wait, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. It's been a couple years. Come on. Forgot how long loading times were on this guy. <laughs> Web system. Nice. Just the... Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I suck at all PlayStation games. So I guess to round things off, the PlayStation Classic is a pretty exciting little console if you're nostalgic towards the PlayStation 1. If you're not, I mean, it's got some good games on it, like uh, you got Final Fantasy, you got Grand Theft Auto, you got some classics on there, Metal Gear, but uh, honestly nothing that 
I'm really gonna spend more than 20, 30 minutes on. So this might be something that I just bring out of parties. That's just what I'm gonna use it for. But uh, you know, hey, if you're super nostalgic for it, I say go for it. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on these tech unboxings and tech videos. And let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see more of these or if you just don't really care. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.